Good morning, everyone. I'm uh, Sergeant Clint Hampton with Metro Vancouver Transit Police. Transit Police are happy to uh, work in collaboration with the Vancouver Police Department and Bar Watch on this hands-off anti-groping campaign. While this is a prevalent issue on the transit system, it's not an issue specific to transit. It's not an issue specific to the City of Vancouver or to the bars, nightclubs, or restaurants. This is an issue dealt with worldwide. In 2012, Transit Police designated sexual offending as one of our top four priorities. We've run campaigns to educate the public to increase the number of sex offenses reported to the Metro Vancouver Transit Police so that victims can be supported and offenders can be arrested and prosecuted and to provide safety messaging and police contact information to our passengers through various platforms, including social media. Transit police want the transit system to be an unwelcome environment for sexual offenders. Despite our constant efforts to reduce incidences of groping, these continue to be a serious issue on the transit system. We often hear the terms rubbing, fondling, groping used. Offenders need to realize that these are all sexual assaults. And a, very, and a sexual assault has a very real, negative, and lasting impact on the victim. Anyone who commits an act of groping is a sexual offender. When we get a report of a groping, we investigate it to the fullest of our ability. When we identify and arrest the suspect, we don't recommend a charge of groping, touching, or rubbing. We recommend a charge of sexual assault. I'm going to conclude by speaking directly to the offenders. Be on notice. If you touch someone inappropriately, if you grope someone, we will come after you. We will complete a thorough investigation and we will arrest you. Hands off.